all of us who are crazy closeted cat ladies, it's time to finally take pride in our status. Here are the top four celebrated women who you didn't know are crazy cat ladies. Number one, Florence Nightingale, the lady with the lamp, the founder of modern nursing, the owner of 60 cats. Yes, in her later years, she was surrounded by felines as evidenced by the inky paw prints on the manuscript she wrote. Her favorite cat was a white fluffy Persian named Mr. Bismarck with whom she would share her rice pudding, which is gross. Number two, in the famous words of Marie Antoinette, let them eat catnip. Marie Antoinette had six Turkish Angora cats that were allowed to roam free on the tables during court gatherings, much to the horror of her neatnik guests. But she was like, I would rather be guillotined than keep them off the tables. And the rest is history. And she was murdered. Number three, Vivian Lee, the darling of American theater and unforgettable lead of Gone with the Wind, was obsessed with Siamese cats. In fact, they help her deal with her bipolar disorder. She gave them terrible names like Tissy and Pooh Jones, and they would sleep in her dressing room during her performances. And finally, number four, what kind of sick, sadistic person bites kittens? Famous convicted felon, Martha Stewart. Wait, really? The reigning queen of lifestyle, screw you G-Pal, says that she gently bites her new pets to let them know that she is their new mother. She currently owns about five fluffy Persian and Himalayan cats, which you can often see featured in her magazine, lounging around on a perfectly crafted DIY cat scratching post. Prison will do things to you. Debbie, you are right. We can't hug every cat, but we can surely try, and it starts today. Cat Ladies Unite, subscribe to this channel and help us deliver more videos like this. What animal do you think will be our, hopefully, benevolent overlord? Subscribe and comment below, because I'm building a statue, and I don't want to be wrong.